thought to himself, how is it possible that our shadows in Alexandria are not in Saeed at the same time of the day? Oh, easy. When you have a small local sun, everything works out exactly the same. He thought to himself, how is it possible to have shadows in Alexandria and not in Syene at the same time of the day? Alright, so I guess I'll explain it again. If you look here on the screen, we've got Syene and we've got Alexandria, and let's say we've got 500 miles between them, and you'll see the small local sun above the first pillar, which causes the second pillar to have a shadow, yet it's sitting on a plane, not on a sphere. If the angle was 1 50th of a circle, then the distance around the world must be 50 times the distance from Alexandria to... Eratosthenes realized that if you were to extend this ray of light coming in at Syene, it would go all the way, all the way to the center of the Earth, if you were to extend that line. And he realized that if you were to extend this ray of light coming in at Alexandria, it would miss the center of the Earth. But the pole set up, which was vertical, if you were to extend that line, it would go to the center of the Earth. Well, yes, I guess if you were on a ball, you might have those things happen. So now you can see part of the problem here. When the globe needs parallel rays, they use parallel rays. But as soon as an eclipse comes, well, now they need to use angled rays, as seen in this image. Not too hard to deceive people when you get to set the rules. Unlikely, even accounting for his extremely primitive measuring tools, that Aristophanes could have calculated an accurate measurement for the circumference of the Earth. He made five important assumptions, none of which, notice again, none of which are perfectly accurate. Number one, the distance between Alexandria and Cyrene being 5,000 stadia. Number two, that Alexandria is due north of Syene, which it's not. Number three, that Syene lies in the Tropic of Cancer, which it doesn't. Number four, that the Earth is a perfect sphere, which it's nowhere near. And number five, the light rays emanating from the sun are parallel. Eratosthenes was the head librarian and scholar at the Library of Alexandria around 250 to 200 BC. Uh, we also have Heron the Elder from Alexandria not many years after Aristophanes, and he also uh, lives and was from Alexandria. Now he wrote many books and people have uh, praised him many times over. However, he never, and I repeat never, mentioned Eratosthenes. Also, they both study the same subject. So there's no way that somebody would not know about the head of the Library of Alexandria. Not when they uh, are studying the same subjects. If you've ever looked into the Earth measurements or anything at that time, you would definitely have come across Eratosthenes. Unless, of course, things were written in 1600, and then you're going to have a hard time uh, getting all your P's and Q's and things lined up. So certainly what it seems like happened. All right, we move on to number two, which was the uh, geography as Eratosthenes is uh, considered to be the inventor of geography, and he measured Earth's rotundity, yet this is his map. Yep, that's his map, with longitude and latitude as straight boxes. So if anybody was going to draw a map that was uh, representative of reality, since he knew it was a sphere and he knew the size, uh, why do we have this map as the best map he ever produced? Something's fishy there. Now let's move on to number three. He actually wrote on many topics, including geography, mathematics, philosophy, chronology, literary criticism, grammar, poetry. Unfortunately, there are only tiny little fragments left of his work, so Eratosthenes is nothing more than a myth, a legend. We're on to number four. Have you ever heard of Dio, D-I-O? Well, many people only want to see peer-reviewed papers, so here you go. This is the International Journal of Scientific History, and what I'm about to tell you will shatter your little uh, worship fest with Aristophanes that uh, every heliocentric fan seems to have. So let's get into the, to the journal here. So to begin the journal, they first um, set out to show that there's no possible way that Eratosthenes had anything to do with measuring the circumference of the earth and if he did he simply took numbers from earlier writers and knowing the uh, actual radius of the earth or at least what was believed at that time for those who believed in the ball it was very easy for him to come up with a circumference and no test needed to be done 
They show a couple things here. They also show, and this will be the shocker, amongst other things, but the first one is that Aristophanes uh, had the sun 12 times smaller than the Earth. All right, now we're on page two of the journal. You can also go online, look, and they make absolute great finds. Uh, this one in particular going on and saying that Aristophanes couldn't have possibly been the one who did this trick, and they've all but proven it. Uh, because of things like his distance to the moon. He had that at 780,000 stadia. I'll tell you what that comes out to in a moment. All right, so number five and six are, again, that Aristophanes thought that the moon was 780,000 stadia and thought that the sun was 4,080,000 stadia. Now, you can just take each of those and divide it by 1,000 to get what Aristophanes thought he was seeing. Isn't it weird that we get 780 miles for the moon and 4,080 miles for the sun. A little bit interesting to get those distances in miles. Now for flat earthers, isn't it interesting that we get a distance of 780 miles for the moon and just over 4,000 miles for the sun from Eratosthenes? Because if these events actually happened, if he actually did measure this so-called distance around the earth with these sticks and the sunlight well then at the very least the absolute very least you'd have to admit as shown here that a close sun which is exactly as flat earth believes and a small sun which is exactly as flat earth believes and a flat earth as flat earth believes would yield the same exact results 